2021, first interview with one of the best movie or filmmakers in the world. I mean, I've been watching her, her <laughs> films, I mean, severally, most of her films I've enjoyed. Right now, she has like three or four movies on Netflix. Uh, I don't want to rush. I just want to take you through the process before I introduce you to the person that I'm about talking to. I mean, she just says her mind as it is. I mean, she's been writing a lot. Not just movies. I mean, she writes it also on Facebook. I'm sure she happens to be a, a co-founder of Facebook because she's taking it as a own. My name is Zan Phillips and I have Leila Jansi here with me. Good evening. Hi. I'm very honored to have you. I am honored to be here with I'm you. I'm very honored to have so you. So I read a lot. You mean you say I write, I think you write more. You write more because just a movie, I mean, you have to write so many things for just a movie. Well, true. And then you have a series yes. on Netflix. Yes. Which, I mean, you wrote a lot. Yeah. How is movie but production? But you guys write like every day. Yeah. You guys like, probably yeah. do like what two thousand words. <laughs> <laughs> I think like two thousand words. Probably more than mm. that, even you guys do. Yeah. How is filmmaking? Well, COVID has brought everybody to their knees, mm. so everything is a little slow. Every production is on hold. So I, but I'm getting a lot of scripts, so I'm reading a lot of scripts. So once everybody gets the vaccine, hopefully there'll be an avalanche of work. Before you go to our main conversation, I mean, I want to ask, is Netflix the target for filmmaking? It shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be. For any filmmaker, he, for me, mm -hmm. the Holy Grail really is a platform theatrical release, mm -hmm. like where your film goes to every single theater in the world. That actually is the holy grail. That is the ultimate of the ultimate. Yes, digital distribution has changed everything, but the library of films is not held by Netflix. There's Hulu. Mm -hmm. I actually like the bouquet on Hulu because it's very selective. This, the content is top notch. Okay. Some of the most top notch shows that I've watched are on Hulu. Then now you have HBO Max, which has one of my favorite shows going right now called Lovecraft Country. It's amazing. And then you have Disney Plus. So it's a lot right now. The, Netflix is not the monopoly. Looks like most, now most Ghanaian filmmakers want to put their movies on Netflix. And then that's that is the target. That's just all they know right now. And Netflix is all that's readily available for the continent right now. Netflix has been there. They've remodeled, 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 and now this is where they are right now. But they've been there. You know, like, honestly, give me a show on Hulu. Honestly, give me a show on Hulu. The money's more, the, the, the audience is more curated. Yeah. How did you get, like, Cotton Twins, 40 and single on Netflix? So that our people can also get there. <laughs> I've always had, all my films have distributed through Netflix. Netflix as part of. So Netflix is something we call an ancillary territory. So when your film comes out, you have either a big TV deal or you have a big theatrical deal. And then every other thing like Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, Voodoo, Google Play, iTunes. Amazon. All of those become your ancillaries. They're the extra, the places that you make extra money or extra sale. So because I've always worked with a distributor, we've always worked with all the ancillaries. With Netflix, we do like two-year licenses. And we never sold Netflix Africa. Okay. So when people are like, can we get your films on Netflix? So I went back to the distributor and said, listen, can you do like an Africa deal? So we did an Africa deal. And that's smart business because you hold on to the territory two or three years later you sell it you hold on to a territory two or three years later you sell it so you keep making money on the title okay so yeah that's netflix pay to the filmmaker <laughs> if you guys are trying to make enemies for me they could do better okay yes okay. they could do better okay but in distribution wise it's, it's better because i mean in africa almost everybody is on netflix not on amazon i have amazon on my mm. tv mm. but I don't get it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Probably okay. It's, not, it's because it's not available. No, it, it is available. You just have to, if you register for Amazon Prime, which is also monthly or yearly, you will get a lot of good shows. There are a lot of good shows on Amazon. And every movie you want, like if you want like Casablanca, you're not going to find it on Netflix. Netflix. You're going to find it on Amazon. If you want Game of Thrones, if you have a, an HBO subscription on Amazon, you get Game of Thrones. 
But you're not gonna get Game of Thrones on Netflix. Okay, so let's go to Oscars. Okay. <laughs> Oh Apart from <laughs> Azali, which uh, which other Ghanaian movie has been on None. has been nominated? None. None. Last year, yes. It, last it, year. I wouldn't use the word nominated. Submitted. Submitted. Yes. So Azali is the only movie submitted from Ghana. Yes. And then because the the, the 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 committee was just launched 2017. Team. Yes. It's very, it's a baby. Oh okay. Yes. And then when did they start working? 2017. And but in 2017, we didn't have a movie to submit. In 2018, <coughs> I'm sorry, Azali went in. Okay, so why did they choose to set up a committee in Ghana? It's, it is not the Oscars okay. that sets up the committee. The country, every country is invited okay. to submit to the international category. So as a country, you present a body, a committee of people that come from each um, sector of the country. Okay. General public, government, film, ed education, farmers, awesome. nurses, doctors. And then you submit those people to the academy. They vet the people and then tell you your committee is approved. If okay. they don't consider someone worthy, they take the person out and say, okay, replace this number or replace this person. And then you get a committee approved by the academy okay. to submit on behalf of the country. So that was approved in 2017 for Ghana? Yes, yes. Okay. And then our first movie submission was in 2020? Eight. No, 2018. 2018. Yes, wait. The you know, it's, it's a, with the Oscars, the years are weird. So okay. I think it was actually 2019, but it's a 2018 submission for 2019 festival. Okay, okay. Wait, yeah, 2019. I'm confused with the years yes. because you know it's like the years go the, the the calendar year for the academy is different, so it, it goes in between. So let's first. How did the Azali do for us, Azali? It didn't get shortlisted, but the good thing was usually. Um, the trades put out articles to predict films that could get nominated. Azali was mentioned as part of the possibles, mm -hmm. even though it didn't get shortlisted. It was mentioned as part of the possibles. And that was a good thing. For, for Ghana? For Ghana, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So I'm here with uh, Leila Jansi. Today our conversation will be mostly about 20, this year's Oscars. I mean, there are a whole lot of issues about it. I mean, some movie makers are angry. Lila Jansi also went on her Facebook page. I mean, she has a five-acre plot of land on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> she went there to write what she feels on that platform. And some producers also feel that they have six acres on Facebook. So they can also make good use of that platform, their, their land. <laughs> so today's conversation will be very interesting. I mean, you know Lila, I mean, she's very vocal. I'm fine, she's Hey, me too, too. Who are they? Me a yigbe, me. Ntu ti trip ah. Me ti trip ah. Oh. Adi wuka se me ti trip. But I speak more of your language, like I get that. Never me will ever be me. No problem. You work. Okay. Ejume me a do work ba. Nothing, nothing to hear. Enye me le work be do ama do. Me na me balance du koki me lo. Okay. Ocha okay. Yeah. I think you're saying say, why do you have to speak chip? I can't speak the exactly. language. Exactly. Right. I understand it, man. <laughs> I understand it. So, this year's Oscar, it, last year around November, October, that you called for entry that filmmakers should bring their uh, movies mm -hmm. for you to review it. Mm -hmm. um, how many? Not me, the committee. The committee, okay. Mm -hmm. The committee. How many? How many people from the committee? Fourteen. Who? 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 That's the thing. Mm -hmm. We can have that conversation. Yeah. Do you know the members of the South African committee? No. Do you know the members of the Austrian committee? No. Do you know the members of the Turkish committee? But Lila has made us know that she's part. But you know some people. You cannot have people that are completely hidden. You do need to have a face. Okay. To, you need to put a name. There needs to be one. For example, like Kenya. We know that Kenya is the film commission. So if you need to talk to someone in the co committee that submits for Kenya, you talk to whoever's in charge of the film commission. Mm -hmm. 
You understand? Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna you you happen to be the face? No, I'm not. George Bosompim, Uncle George Bosompim, is the face. Okay. Yes. But the reason why everybody knows is because one, I put together the workshops. Like I'm like we have to do a workshop and we do a workshop, or like if the trades want to talk like when, when the trades wanted to talk about Azali, they needed a name that could go in the article that w was a little relevant. Yeah. So they're like, can we get a quote from you? So I gave them a quote. So maybe that is why it seems like, okay, everybody knows Layla is a part of it. So apart from Layla and then Bosom can we get to know other three people to make it five from the committee? <laughs> At least you, you are 15, 14. I cannot do that okay. uni unilaterally. It has to come from, everybody has to give like a consensus that, okay, okay. yes. So you have 14 people. 14 We know, people. We know Bosom Pim, we know Layla. Yes. So how many people, how many movies were filed to Four. you? Four four movies mm -hmm. which are i'm gonna tell you the movies we had gold coast lounge we had heroes of africa we had obodo and then we had madman madman madhouse madhouse shot at the asylum yeah asylum yeah yeah um were there enough four movies you can even submit two movies. If that's all you got, that's all you got. Okay. Mm -hmm. If that's all the country got, that's all you got. None of them cuts for it. Why? We could have submitted Obodo. We could have submitted Gold Coast Lodge. We could have submitted Heroes of Africa. But Mad Madhouse? Oh, we could have submitted Madhouse. But this is the question. What image, what name do you want to be called? Does that make sense? Yeah. What name do you want to be called? Do you want to submit for submitting sick or do you want to submit something that will have your head held high? Azali was mentioned as a long shot. Now those are the kind of comments Ghana needs to have in time we submit. It's not for Leila, it's not for George, it's for the country, it's for every filmmaker. If, 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 if an executive was reading Hollywood Reporter or Variety, long shots, and sees Azali, Ghana. Oh, interesting. Ghana is coming up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. You're, we shouldn't submit for submitting sick. And they'll, they'll throw it away. And then they'll throw it away, and then you don't make any impact at all. Now, I'm not saying that we couldn't have submitted any of those but each one had a problem that would have been a dent on the sense of one the committee the filmmaking population and the country look we have enough problems in africa as it is in hollywood if you are african have an african accent you have to prove yourself with less than other people have because they do not believe that anything good can come out of Africa. I've been to countless interviews for jobs. I've interviewed for $50 million budget jobs. I've interviewed for $10 million budget jobs. It always boils down to where I am from. They're just nervous that you're from Africa. They're just nervous they don't, they're not sure you're capable. How many black South African directors do you know? that have made an impact in Hollywood. All the South African directors that have made an impact in Hollywood have been white. How many of them are black? How many directors from Kenya are making an impact in Hollywood? Even though Kenya has gone all the way to the shortlist with a film called Yellow Card. I have a friend, Joe Munga. Joe made this film called Viva Riva, one of the best films I've ever seen when one MTV Awards was distributed by Music Box Films. He's not been able to make another film. He's black, he's from Africa. Rungano Nyoni made a film called I'm Not a Witch for representing Zambia. The UK submitted that film for the UK's entry into the, what has she done since then? Nothing. Am I gonna talk about Wanuri? We're black. It's hard. They don't, they don't think we are capable. We don't get into rooms because we're not considered capable. Because we're black. We're from a... Africa
African Americans are having a problem and then we're not going to have a problem. And here's the case, African Americans are not even fighting alongside us black Africans. We're fighting alone if we're fighting at all. Because African Americans are like, well, y'all sold us off. We came here, we slaved, we created the safety net that you guys come and you enjoy. So they don't like us. We're fighting alone. So if we're going to represent who we are, what, what image should we put out there? I would want you to answer me. Good, good image, of course, good image. It should be a good image. Yeah. It should be a powerful image. It should be something that is unwavering, something that they cannot question. Because look, as a black person, a black person from Africa, a black person with an African accent, you're going to have to prove yourself with a quarter of what somebody else has. They're going to give a white person a big lemon tree. They'll give you a quarter. They'll divide one lemon into four and give you a quarter. And you're still supposed to produce what somebody, they'll give you $2,000 and expect you to produce Black Panther. Is that possible? No. They'll reduce your budget. When I was, I had a distribution deal for five years with ROJ Entertainment. Because of who I am, the white films that go to ROJ Entertainment, they get a million to three million. The black films got somewhere 300 to 500,000. The first film I gave them, they gave me 150,000 because it was from Africa, ties that bind. What are you going to do? I made that film for almost 500,000. They gave me 150,000. I'm still in debt for that film because they don't give me any receipts. Because when, when they give you that 150,000, they got to double their profit. It's, it's called a recoupable advance. They're going to recoup it plus 100%, plus 25% distribution fee and 25% liquidation. When are you going to make any money? But see, these are the things that these people on Facebook, they don't get it. They're not in the middle. They're not in the ring. So they don't understand that a child who's on his mother's back does not know how long or how dreary the journey is. That's what they don't get. So all the four, none of them were picked. Let's take it, let's take um, the one that we shot at Elmina Castle because that one I think I, I went to set for a day. Elmina Castle? Yeah, Heroes of Change, okay. Tetekwashi. Okay. Tetekwashi. Okay. Okay. I, was, okay. I, was, I was on set with them for a day. Okay. People think that Tetequashi is a very brilliant movie. I mean, something that talks about history. I mean, costume, acting, people. The public think it, 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 it was okay. It was perfect. Why didn't it cut for Oscars? Why, why didn't the Oscars do not belong to Ghana? Okay. The Oscars doesn't care about what Ghanaians think. How many films are we exposed to that we can be an authority on a film? Where did our um, Heroes of Africa, can you, did it go to Toronto? Did it go to Sundance? Did it go to Venice? Did it go to, did it do anything at Film Independent? Did it go to Durban Film Festival? Did it go to Terulai, uh, Telluride? Did it go to Slumdance? Did it go to Bentonville? Did it go to, and I'm just mentioning the um, industry festivals of off the top of my head. Did it go any of those places? No, I've, I've not heard anything about exactly. that. Exactly. It did not pass the litmus test. The Oscars is world. It's not Ghana. It's not Africa. The Oscars is world. Did it test itself? No, it didn't. And I'm going to give you a secret of the Oscars in a bit. It didn't test itself. That's number one. Number two. So the Oscars, it. you have to test yourself before? Yes. Okay. You need to test your product. You, if you really feel like you have a chance, my friend Kate, she produced a film called This Is Not a Burial, It's a Resurrection. The first film that Lesotho submitted, it won Venice. Venice is the biggest. Venice is the grandfather of film festivals. It won Venice. It won Sundance. It went to 19 industry festivals. It tested. Because pe all the countries are going to submit, right? Yeah. America is going to submit, they probably get more than 5,000 movies. 
You really think they're going to watch all the movies? They're not going to watch all the movies. A lot of Oscar voters go by the films they've heard right. about. So most of them do not actually watch the films. I had a friend who was, who was in a big film. I'm not going to say his name. He was in a big film. He played the lead. And he was telling us the story of how he won. And he won the Oscar. He was telling us the story of how he won the Oscar. And he said, they came up to me and said, do you want to win an Oscar? And he said, yes. He said, okay, you have to be present at every event, every party, every screening for the next six months. There's actually your distributor who's going to distribute your film actually has a promotion budget for Oscars, just for the Oscars. You go to every party and you are on the red carpet. Because you have to be visible. You have to be visible. People got to see you. People got to hear about the film. They ha you have to beat the film into people. You can drum it into people's heads. Then they know, oh, so when the screeners come and they've already heard about the film and they've already read reviews about the film. Oh, I read about this film. Check it. And I'm even going to watch it. I vote on Spirit Awards. So I know that I only go for the films that I've heard right so about. much about. Yeah. How much time do I have in my day that I'm going to watch a film that I've not even heard about? That's the litmus test. Now, I am not saying that every single film that is submitted should go to a festival. Festivals have monopoly. It takes a lot to get in. It takes knowing people to get in so i understand the predicament in that regard right but there are smaller festivals right yeah. there are smaller industry events there are other things that you can do but let's go back to heroes of africa yeah. i watched it what year was the film set i don't know um we go to fernando po how did what did he go to fernando po Let's break it down. Did he actually go to Fernando Po? Did he Google Fernando Po? Did he replicate Fernando Po in that time? Right? He did it. What long did you hear Portuguese in that film? <coughs> Fernando Po is a Portuguese Country. colony. Did, does he actually have the truth of what happened in Fernando Po with the Takwashi? Or did he just... Is he doing an attribution? Or is he doing like a biopic inspired by? Is he doing a biopic or is he doing an inspired by? Teta Kwashi's estate could sue him. Did he get clearance from Teta Kwashi's estate to do that film? Because I'm sure he has relations who are alive. Did you get clearance from his estate to do that film? If he goes to the Oscars and there's a big deal right now and his people come, you made a movie about where oh. is the estate involved? Do you clear all of those things? Or all of, if you're saying you made a biopic, they're going to ask you for all, a distributor will ask you for all those things. But did, 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 did you ask them that? There was no point. Because you and I know it never happened. But let's even forget about the legalities of it. Let's talk about story. There were special effects. There was magic. There were like action. It was just a cacophony of too much stuff going on. It was an, I'm going to be honest with you. It was a, I enjoyed the directing. I'm going to have to be honest about that. From Vicky Gabin. Yes, I enjoyed the directing. I was like, this is some skill right here. There were things I'm like, how did I do that? Honestly, right? But it wasn't well thought out to represent Ghana. It wasn't. So what's the next film? Okay. Next film is, uh, we can pick all of them. Okay. Let's take the one that they did at Asalam. Mm -hmm. uh, Madhouse. Yes. I think Ola Kumaiko directed it also. Yeah. Ola, okay. Ola Kumaiko, yeah. Uh, what about that one? We spent five minutes <laughs> on in that the film. opening scene yeah. with mad people dancing. Yeah. You're going to really t represent. And then the next scene was, um, I forget this guy's name. He's on a TV. He's an actor with a... Akobatsu. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. And talking, it was weird. It was like weird sex language. Gold Coast. I think that's for Pascal, right? Yes, Gold yeah. Coast Lounge. Yeah. We were all rooting for Gold Coast Lounge. 
I was personally rooting for Gold Coast Lounge. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why I was rooting for Gold Coast Lounge. We held an ELSCA workshop a couple of, um, last year. And I was told at, at that workshop that Gold Coast was going to submit to the Oscars. I'm like, okay, great. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to get a good submissions this year. I reached out to him. And I, I, when I heard the movie was going to release into the theaters, and I reached out to him like, have you considered traveling festivals before you release into the theater? So by the time you submit, your film is fresh. I have proof that I reached out to him. Because I sent him a message, so I have proof. And, I, and he said, oh, he tried to get into some festivals. I said, okay, I will help you get into some festivals. And I never heard back from him again. Okay, so it, it's not like somebody was like, oh, you don't even try. You have no idea things I do behind the scenes. I just don't talk about it because it's not necessary. Right? So we were rooting for, but at that time when I sent you that message, I'd never seen the film. Okay. Right? So I only watched, I only got to see the film when it was submitted. And I'm not speaking for the committee. I'm speaking for Layla. Mm -hmm. For me, it had a James Bond theme opening. Like what I'm like, this is Bond. That already is a red flag. That's one. Two. It just, I didn't know what the story was about. That was me. I was not particularly sure what the story was about. Um, it also felt like an ode to Godfather. Mm -hmm. Right? And it also felt like the filmmaker has this passion for some films. And then they brought all those ideas together. There's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong. It was very well done. But by the end of the film, you're like, okay, what was, this, what, what was the point? So we had to ask ourselves, is this strong enough? I, for me personally, it was, the, it was just... The James Bond mm. thing. That was the like, intro. Oh, the intro. I was mm -hmm. like, okay. And that's when I kicked myself because I said to myself, it was so close to submission for the Oscars. If we had more time, I probably would have like said, let's give it another look. Let, let us all give it another look. If they'll listen to me, I don't know. But I probably would have begged and said, let's give it another look. And they would ask him to take it out, right? But it was too close, take it out, do another DCP, it's expensive. We, we considered, because we as a, as a committee, we consider everything we can do to help the filmmaker. When Azali was selected, there were problems with Azali. There were a lot of problems with the audio, with typos, like some of the subtitles. There were, there were a lot of problems with, with like technical helped. problems with Azali. But we knew all of those things were going to be fixed. So when we, um, when they gave him the letter, we reached out to him and said, okay, where's your 5-1 audio? We helped him with the 5-1 to get the 5-1 audio done. Uh, we helped him with um, some uh, typos that we, we noticed, a couple of typos. We helped him with that. And he mm -hmm. got it all done. So the last one, the last movie, I've forgotten the title because it's not Obodo. Obodo. It was a Nigerian film. It was submitted as Nigeria. I would gladly give you evidence. Country of origin, Nigeria. By who? By a Nigerian or by a Ghanaian? I don't know. I don't know the filmmaker. I do country of origin, Nigeria. And then they wanted us to submit in our name. Yeah. So that's even a first. <laughs> <coughs> Let's move on. So on Facebook, as I said, I mean, on your five acre plot of land on Facebook, <laughs> I mean, you were, you, were, you were burning. I wasn't burning. You know, pay your words. I mean. No, I it's, it, maybe it's how you're reading it. If I were burning, I wouldn't be talking about my bra. <laughs> Look, all these things, I find them really funny, honestly. It's, it's how you're reading it. Mm. I wasn't burning. Who are, who are those insulting you? What, you want me to say names? Yeah. Ludwig said I shouldn't say names, so I'm not going to say names. No, I want to know because you said it, and somebody saying that nobody insulted you. Really? Yeah, because I, 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 I have a long text. Message to Lila Efua Jansi, a very long text. Uh -huh. And the person is saying, nobody has insulted you. Really? Yeah. I was called stupid, mm -hmm. unless the people have taken down the, the people who saw the insults. I was called liar, 
stupid fools. Mm -hmm. I sent one screenshot to Amake. It was like the idiocy of these people. We were called idiots. The committee members, we were referred to as idiots. We, we were referred to as fools. That was unfortunate, right? So I am here with uh, Leila Jansi talking about Oscars. Why Ghana this year? I mean, no movie was actually submitted for us to be nominated. I mean, last year, last two years, we had Azali. But I mean, this year they said when they sat down and then they had four movies. They looked through the four movies and then Charlie, none of them cut cut it for us. So they, they needed to save the face, save our face instead of taking something there and then they will see us in a certain way. Uh, I have something here that I want to read for you. It is a very long text. Why is Leila Jans is so angry on Facebook that Ghanaian filmmakers are insulting her for influencing Ghana to vote not? Ah, did you influence them to, to <laughs> no. vote no? Let me ask that. How can I influence anybody? I'm going to say this. On the, my sister has stroke. Right? She's in this house right now. Okay. Better read it. Sorry. I wasn't there. To the point, I called my friend, Lou Dwig, and I begged him and said, I'm not going to be able to make it. Go there and like, just tell them she's coming, she's coming, she's coming, so it doesn't look like I'm disrespecting them. And he went. So he just told her, she's around the corner, she's around the corner, until I finally got there. And they were done when I got there. So when I got there, one of the committee members, gray hair man, with a walking stick, was kind Leila, oh, you're here finally. We're not sending a film. We're not sending a film. I'm like, okay, uncle. I'm like, oh, mm, what's going on? Okay, and I entered. Then I met, and they were like, we don't, one of them, her voice is like, we don't know, the whole thing, me, I don't know, right? I'm like, you know what? And they were like, what did I think? I'm like, so there was what, they were actually screening Heroes of Africa when I got in. Because one of the um, voters, she had come late. She watched all the others. She hadn't watched that, so there was credit for her. So we all sat down. We started watching, and then suddenly we just saw this text on the screen. Fernando Poe. Everybody started laughing. Like, how did we get to Fernando <laughs> Poe? And everybody was just. So they just stopped watching. And I'm telling you exactly what happened. They just stopped. I just started talking. They were like, nah, 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 nah. And I'm like, I agree. If you guys don't want to send, I'm in total support, you know? Mm. And I left, I got home, and I got a, a message that they had voted. They gave us all ballots, right? I still have my ballot. They gave us all ballots. And they had, before I voted, they called me and said, we're not submitting. And I said, I agree with that. I mean, it, it, it's, it's hard to know which one to send that would, you know, be a good image for the country. Like, and when I say good image, I don't mean represents the culture and identity only. Also the skill of the filmmakers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you didn't even vote? I didn't even vote. So you didn't influence them or you didn't dictate for them? There is no way. I, oh, my God. I wish I could influence. Mm -hmm. There is no way. There is absolutely no. You, oh my God, you have no. <laughs> so Frank uh, Fifi Gavin, who had two of his movies there, mm -hmm. the, uh, Heroes of Change, Tetequashi, he directed it, as, as I said earlier. In fact, mm -hmm. he has this long, long test, mm -hmm. and he says I, I can't read everything, mm -hmm. but I just quote certain parts of it. Mm -hmm. It's sad, but honestly, I don't know who is really insulting here, because I had two of my movies in there with Heroes of Africa getting to the final stage of selection only to see in the newspapers news that the Ghana jury has voted not to submit any Ghanaian movie to the Oscars this year. And honestly speaking, I have not said a word. So he has two movies, he hasn't said anything. So that means either Pascal or the Nigerian... The fact that he's not said anything doesn't mean other people have not said anything. So that, that means Pascal is not I never said that. So who? That's why they, that, that is why they want to hear names. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. There is this guy, um, Kobina Sam. Right, he yeah. did a lot. Like those were the screenshots that I got. There were other people I cannot remember some of the names, but yeah, the, go on his Facebook page. It's right there. Kobinasan, I think, um, was the father to Beast of Knowledge. I think he's in. Okay. Yeah, Beast of Knowledge. He was the father to one of the small boys. Okay. Kobinasan, yeah, mm. I remember him. Okay. Maybe that's what that's what he thinks is giving him clout. What has Beast of No Nation done for him since 
He shot it. Um, Does he have billing? Is he receiving royalties? That one we have to go and ask the ghost. Ex that's the point. Okay, so Frank continues to write that, um, and it's not fair the way she's insulting us on Facebook. How I insult to anybody? I said somebody's head is big. <laughs> I said they're bow legged. I mean, you, you, you wrote. Oh, uh, they eat too much. Uh, um, somewhere they said you said you are not a Ghanaian. I'm not. My passport is not. My parents are. Yeah, by papers you're not, but by birth you are. Up for debate. So which one are you taking? By papers? No, even my even my by birth is up for debate, cause. Mm. <laughs> so they feel it, it, it is insulting. That I said I'm not Ghanaian. Yeah, but you're working for Ghanaians. Ah. You work for Ghanaians. I mean, so? we, we see you as a Ghanaian. No problem. Uh -huh. I, I don't understand. Meaning, I'm speaking ever, uh -huh. so it's a Ghanaian language, so mm. by papers, mm -hmm. I'm not a Ghanaian. Yeah. By descent, I'm Ghanaian. Mm. Right? So, yeah, I. the reason I said that is this. People, and I'm going to be blunt, people are threatened thinking mm. that I'm trying to hold on until I get the film until I get a, fil a, a film to submit. Okay. And so I'm helping them breathe. I'm abating their fears by telling them that I am not gonna and I'm not gonna be able to submit. Look, to be honest, if I really, really wanted to go in for the international Oscars, I would have gone in. I know what they're looking for. I know people on the board and I don't mean people who vote. I mean people on the board. Okay, board of governors. Yes. I know people there. Some of them were my lecturers in school. Right? Mm -hmm. So if it's my I go out of four me chamo. It's a saying me did the mammy say one and me was something dead debi catch you. What's it up top sending car? Debbie. What's it say? Nana was a hand. My men can't share away. Tap tap send. Hey, app. I'll be to me at your Google phone. So now we'll be be out with Europe. I would miss and this is a couple Ghana. A comma, I do for and ten to more now. So more Mojisica, no, so more empty and so Vodafone, Tigo, and now say it elsewhere. Or more Benya Sica and ten to more now. Now, dear, they will more cry and say fees be on come on to your fees be a an exchange rate and also was so come on come on our iphone and also our android that you'll be honest say we'll be called app store no no i should share tap tap send charlie me say many a job home me say tap or tap or not send it okay so i'm still here with leila uh we are wrapping up before we go uh frank in his and it's right up. It's asking you to apologize to filmmakers for insulting them. Yeah, yeah. Let me read it for you. Um, she should humbly apologize to the rest of us. I rest my case. Before then, he said that um, she should just keep quiet and don't include all of us in her insults as well. And he went ahead to say that you should, should apologize to filmmakers. He wants. Me. Did he actually read? And if he read my post, did he comprehend? And is he my dad? He ain't got no right to ask me to apologize. He ain't my dad. He doesn't have any authority over me. Maybe to make peace, I mean, make if he feels that two people have insulted, you've insulted make them. Make peace with who? To the industry What about players? the people who insulted me? Are they gonna humbly apologize to you? No problem. They come humbly apologize, I humbly apologize. How about that? So if they apologize? If they apologize, you won't. Of course, but it depends on what, what am I apologizing for? He feels that's you, the he, question. He feels you've insulted them. But that's the thing. He's probably a little too sensitive. He's too sensitive. Do you know what this, he said about me multiple times that I've always ignored? There was a time he said I'm not Ghanaian, which is fine. That I should not be submitting for the Ghana Movie Awards. There was a time he was like, um, I'm not really a good filmmaker, I just have good equipment. Did I come to ask him to apologize? I never did that. 
So what right does he think he has to tell somebody? See, that's the thing. People like to tell people how to live their lives. If he, listen, if he did not insult me, keep it moving. Go on. Go eat fufu and goat soup. Don't worry about it. You didn't insult Layla. People who insult Layla know who insult. They know themselves, right? But an old woman is always uncomfortable when dry bones are mentioned in a proverb. So maybe that's his hang up. <sighs> my, my, my final words. Um, <laughs> away from Oscar. How is Ghana doing? I mean, with movie. I don't know. That, that's, that's to tell that we are not doing well. <laughs> if Lila says we, she doesn't know that, that, that is to tell we are, we are not doing well. I mean, what do you mean by not doing well? I mean, if you, if you say you don't know, that means... No, I think the problem is that Ghana failed to catch up when distribution was changing. Right? If you bake bread and you don't have any place to sell it, the bread is going to sit with you at home and then you're not going to continue baking. Right? But Ghana did not catch up when distribution was switching to digital. Okay? Yeah. yeah. When it was switching, you had people like Iroko who took over Nigeria. Nobody did that for Ghana. Ghana. Right? Well, there were other apps, but... Ghana's they were not sustainable. They were not... Yeah. And Ghana people do really do not like to spend money on content. Mm, you have to pay for it and buy data. Even like the data exactly, itself, the streaming exactly, is not... That's, exactly. The, 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 it's not fast. And then the TV networks who could have rescued by doing like um, TV films, TV movies, they, have, they do butter trade and then next thing you know, you're left with like 100 CD for a movie you shot for 100,000. So it's, it's not the filmmakers. There are, there are a lot of people out there who want to make content, who have good ideas, who want to make content, but they just do not have an avenue to earn on the content they create. Have you called John? He's a body body. Who John? Dumelo. Ah, my <laughs> boyfriend. My boo. No, yeah. I have not called him. Oh, you should go and see him. You know what? I'm going through so much at home. Oh. It's just, I'm not keeping in touch with anybody. Oh, okay. I'm j I just have just tunnel Amma. vision. Well, Amma is like a family friend and she comes to see my sister all the time. And you know why always am I in your movies? No, why is not always in my movies? I think I've seen it like two, three movies of yours. Well, uh, the, uh, Scorsese always uses DiCaprio. Ain't nobody said nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lila, your final words. Uh, my final words. There were okay. There is no animosity. Nobody is out to sabotage any filmmaker. The committee is legitimate. Everybody on it is above board. Nobody has any um, personal agenda or there's no vindictiveness. We all want, if like, like I said, I'm not going in, but I'm supporting the committee, yeah. right? That, I, it, look, if, if a film from Ghana gets to the Oscars, right, and I'm on the committee and I live I live in LA, I attend the Oscars. Now I can actually be like, yay, I'm with my people. It would be fun, it's for all of us, okay? So there is no hidden agenda. We just want to send something good. So, if you want to submit your film to the Oscars, from the script level, reach out to, don't reach out to me. It will be a conflict of interest. Send your script to Blacklist. This, this is a, a, a company called The Blacklist. Send your script to The Blacklist. Let them vet the script. Now, you can reach out to me and ask me, where can I send my script to to be vetted, right? I have a couple of companies that will help you do the vetting and not charge you. Um, Blacklist is $70. I could probably help you get it for like $30. For, with other companies, but get coverage on your script, get notes, go back and rewrite and rewrite and rewrite, and then you go and you shoot. But from script level, make sure it's the best that you're gonna put out there. Because okay. that's where it starts from. We all wanna get a film to represent Ghana. We were so excited for Azali.
Last question, final question. What, what kind of movie do you think cuts for Oscars? A human story. Something that, a, a character that you can root for. A character that you're like, oh, I wish you would just do this. I wish you would just do this. So watch character-driven films. No, it's not about showing Africa in poverty. Not at all. Not at all. You could set a story about a president in the government house, in you know, that fancy Jubilee house, and his struggle. Maybe he's trapped in there, and then something. Or maybe like a political campaign, or some. It, no, it's not about poverty of Africa. Mm -hmm. It's about the strength of the character, a hero's journey, a hero's journey. And there is a book out there called Story by Robert McKee. Please get that book and read. It's a very good book. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name is Zion Felix. I'm here. I came to talk to Lila on so many issues. Thank you very much for watching. My handle is zionfelix.com on Instagram and Twitter. Only other calls are in Felix on Facebook. It is our in Felix Entertainment News. I mean, she's Lila's party on Twitter. Lila's she's Lila Jansi on Instagram. Instagram and Facebook. I mean, follow her. I, mean, I, I told you she has five acres over there. She Whatever. writes about everything. Bye-bye. <laughs>